All right, Gabe, let's take a look at your paper. Um, MLA citation first, so this looks good, although it doesn't quite look like 12-point font, but um, this is all good. This isn't the date that we handed it in, but it's all right. The Macbeth is never cap. This is never capitalized, so um, you don't have to capitalize that. And this would be a colon, so Macbeth colon a wartime casualty. Even with that, I'm not a huge fan of that title, but we can make it work. So you start off with, you always start off with the full name first and then jump into the anacronym. Um, you jump right into the topic of what post-traumatic stress disorder is and it can be caused by a uh, myriad of events. Um, ranging from, so we have a, a uh, sentence fragment right here, ranging from, so this is a period, this is not a complete sentence here, you don't have a space here. Uh, and then you can talk about the range of symptoms, making every case unique, and then you go through these symptoms. Now, the actual order of the essay, you need an attention getter, which you don't really have an attention getting for a statement. You need to build on that attention getter. You need to introduce the topic, which that is that Macbeth had PTSD because of this. Then you need to talk about that Macbeth had these symptoms, because you're just naming symptoms at this point. I wouldn't even know this paper is about Macbeth until I get to the very last sentence. And then you jump into here. Um, the culmination of which drives him to grab hold of power by any means possible. I think this is a, an all right thesis statement. Um, but again, you need to introduce William Shakespeare in the play much earlier. Now, just looking at this paragraph, I can tell you already, there, this, there's no way that this is long enough. Um, you have not done enough in that opening paragraph. It's too short, way too short. So you're definitely going to want to add some more information into there and follow that organizational pattern. All right, so we want to work on a topic sentence in your body paragraphs that is sort of like a mini preview or a mini thesis statement about this body paragraph or about this symptom. You don't really have that here at the front. You do a good job of explaining the first symptom um, and what it's like. Um, make sure, though, um, some are startled by loud noises or surprises, have trouble sleeping, and sometimes have trouble concentrating. Make sure that you have that space there um, as you go through there. And I'm pretty sure that this, this is going to be in quotes this uh, in-text citation, so you're going to want to do that uh, in the future. So what I want to get away from is here are the symptoms. These are these fit perfectly with Macbeth. I want to have more than just that. Now, your thesis is about he wants to get power by any means necessary, so that should be the basis of this. Um, he becomes, as the play goes on, Macbeth becomes more and more irritable towards friends and family, always looking for dangers in places that none exist. I like that statement, but then your next quote is a way too long quote um, when he's talking to the murderers. Uh, number one, way too long. Number two, uh, you don't do enough to really analyze this quote. If you're going to use a quote this long, there better be five or six sentences of analysis with it, um, and there simply isn't. Um, and in the future, whenever you have a quote this long, if it goes on to the fourth line, you have to indent twice in all the way down and separate that quote into its own little thing, uh, its own little section there. So you're going to have to do that as well. Your citation is correct, but again, you have these spacing issues here that you need to fix. Uh, so he distrusts him. That's all you. All I get out of there is that he doesn't trust him um, and has him killed. Um, he doesn't stop there because then he goes on to kill Macduff's family uh, and destroys his castle. The stress of killing his friends, you don't need the comma here, Duncan and Banquo, and then you go on here from the items in the series, left, uh, would have likely caused, and you don't need the comma here, would have likely caused many a sleepless night for, sleepless night, sleepless nights for Macbeth, leading to a rather harsh case of insomnia, which is going to jump in here. So that's not a bad transition statement right there. But again, go back to your thesis statement. That's what you have to keep bringing up in your body paragraphs. That's the basis of everything that you're going to talk about in your body paragraphs, and you're just not doing it right now. All right, again, silly mistakes. No space here, too many spaces here. Um, so watch that. Um, you have this quote, which is fine for a quote. Uh, he exclaims after murdering Duncan. I think this, I would just end it right there and then have a sentence to really summarize what's going on here um, overall. Um, improper use of semicolon here, uh, leaving him to ponder his actions to slowly lose his mind to insomnia. Um, that would be a, a comma instead. Uh, same thing here. This would be a comma uh, instead. 
Uh, these aren't really two separated thoughts. Um, they're not complete sentences here. And you want that on either side of that semicolon most of the time. Uh, so he's afraid of sleep. We got that. And this is the part that I want to see more of from you, Gabe. This is really good diction in here. I think you do a great job of word choice. Um, again, you do a great job, pretty good job of, uh, uh, of transitioning. I don't like the word extremely. That's almost as bad as very. Um, so I would, I would fix that. Um, and again, probably your in-text citation is going to be in quotes. But when I get down to the MLA citation page, I can look at that too. Um, you want to, again, tie it back into the thesis statement. You don't really have a huge tie into your thesis statement yet in that paragraph. So you're going to look at that again um, in the rewrite. All right. So in this paragraph, um, talking about hallucinations, and you use the two most likely culprits, which is the dagger and uh, Banquo, uh, which is fine. Still have problems with space. Still have problems with spaces. There's a comma, end of period there. Um, so fix those little things again. This is probably your most detailed paragraph, but actually I'm going to argue that it, it's too detailed um, because there's way too much plot. Like this whole thing is plot. Um, and so you really want to go back in, Gabe, and, and figure out what needs to be the most important details in here because certainly I want details, but it's kind of dragging it on. And here's what you need to do. Don't just say plot. Um, okay, this happens. I want to know why it's significant to your symptom. What, what have you learned about your symptom that would make this a significant you know, event and, and complication in Macbeth's life? That's what's going to make your um, writing better. Um, you kind of get into the thesis statement here um, of people that get in his way, but you don't really make that clear throughout. And that's what we need to see more of in your paper is that clear connection to that thesis statement. All right, so conclusion, um, not the best restatement of your thesis statement. But now you need to take a sentence to summarize each body paragraph, and you don't do that. Um, you That would be a comma and not a semicolon. Um, steady turn to murder, killing those. Uh, but instead he turned to murder, killing those he felt were his way. Something like that would make it a little bit more smoother. Uh, but you do not really have everything. Don't really have everything in there. So, works cited page. Number one, works cited goes all the way up here towards the top of the page. Um, this is not how you would cite these um, at all. So you're going to have to go back in and, and figure out how to cite these because this is this is not it at all. Um, remember, you tab over every other line. You can add the the actual URL, but you gotta remember do a lot more other stuff than that. Uh, so you have to fix that. Um, some good things, Gabe, about your paper, but certainly some things that we need to work on too. So hopefully, we'll see a rewrite out of you, um, and you can clean up some of that stuff in here.